Now I'm not I now I'm not gonna say anything, but what I am gonna say, <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything, but what I am gonna say is y'all notice we ain't had no mic problems since Mercury retrograde is over. Have y'all noticed that? Not one mic problem, not one. Not one child, except for the position of the mic, and that ain't got shit to do with Mercury. But the the thing is, I've noticed it. I notice it. Okay, I think this is the way it goes. I have a I have a way to put it. I just have to remember. All right, so what's up, everybody? We're all mad here. Yeah, Alice in Wonderland. Um, the, one of the first clips I saw when I first logged on this morning is Charlemagne talking about Risa Tisa. And I want to read some of the comments because he tried to say it's the big girls. Now, granted, the big girls because they're not conventionally. Remember, remember we have the five tenets of enforcing the illusion of white superiority or white supremacy, whatever you want to call it, the illusion of, right? We know that in the illusion to uphold or enforce the illusion of white supremacy, outside of enforcing cisgender, heterosexual, male, Christian, you also have thin. Remember, we add thin to that. So if you are not con if you're not thin if you look like me a little bit smaller than me a little bit bigger than me they're gonna call you fat they're gonna they're gonna call you everything honey because if you're not what do they say on beverly hills needle thin thin as a needle girl you're fat okay if you are if you have a little pudge in your stomach if anything dealing with the stomach if your stomach isn't flat you fat <laughs> if your stomach isn't flat you fat okay so because of that, women and most women, and it doesn't matter how beautiful you look, most women by design in this patriarchy, most women have a low self-esteem. Most women are unhappy with their physical appearance. Most women want to meet the demand, want to be the supply to meet the demand in order to be desirable to whoever they want to attract, right? And if you don't look convinced, if you're not thin, if you're not in shape, then you're fat. And then you have a low self-esteem. And some people are thin and in shape and still believe themselves to be fat. All of the eating disorders, all of the body dysmorphia, it is by design. It helps, it helps the economy that you are unhappy with your weight. It helps the economy that you want to look good and you want to be in the gym. It helps. It helps all of that. The beauty industry, billion dollar industry. Cosmetic enhancements, billion dollar industry. Why? Because people are unhappy with the way they look. And because they're unhappy with the way they look, they may have a low self-esteem. And what happens when you have a low self-esteem? You are vulnerable to be taken advantage of, especially a woman who is in the church, let's add that vari variable, because in the church, they're also programming you to put up, endure, suffer, and all that stuff for a man. Right? Right? So all of this, now you in church, you a big girl, you in church, what else do they got? They, they, ha they have. You're in church, you a big girl, and you desperate for marriage. And you are, the key word, desperate for marriage. And what I do find is a lot of people who prioritize romantic relationships in their life, they jump, hop and skip from relationship to relationship. They value relationship more than their solitude. They value relationship more than their platonic relationships. They value relationships more than the relationships that they have with women. And it's true. And that's just, all of it is by design. So a woman who you might see be like, oh my God, she's so beautiful. How did that happen to you? Usually it's an ugly fat girl that this happens to. No, it happens to all women. And if you haven't been on TikTok lately or seen the responses to Risa Tisa, there are all women, not just black women, not just fat women, but all women from all walks of life looking like the God, a goddamn Benetton ad from all walks of life sharing their stories about how they've been duped and hustle because their desperation allowed them to only view the idealized version and the potential of. They ignore every single thing else. 
because they want to be chosen. And that is by design. The whole thing is by design to get you into some weird ass relationship dynamic where you are now an, an insufferable wife. You're dealing with this man who ba 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 whatever whatever it is, whatever your grievances are. So it's not just the big girls. Yes, the big girls are susceptible, but it's the skinny girls too. It's the preferences. It's the light skins. Hello, it's all the girls. They all getting taken advantage of by these men because they want so desperately because from the beginning, from when you were just a little baby, a little ladybug, honey, they have been programming you to desire this thing. And you, and what, what's really alarming is no one analyzes why they prefer, why they desire. You have, you have not done the work to figure out why do I desire this so badly, so badly that I've spent my entire life looking for it. What? You haven't even analyzed it. You don't even know why you're operating like this. And then when somebody like me comes down here and tells you, this is why you're operating like this, you ignore it. Why? That's also by design. You're supposed to reject anything outside of that box. White, male, hetero, cisgender, male, hetero, Christian, white, and thin. And y'all don't even realize how, especially black people, brown people, what do they call it? B-I-P-O-C, all that whole entire group, how you enforce the illusions of white supremacy in the way that you enforce the rules around here. Like motherfucking Dr. Alicia telling people they, and, unless you have a proper marriage, what the fuck is proper, girl? What is proper? You being a highly educated woman and agreeing and nodding and, 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 and doing what you were trained to do. You don't realize how stupid you look despite all of your accomplishments. And why do you look stupid? What's the variable that makes you look stupid? What is the variable that's making this, this accomplished doctor look stupid? What is she doing? What is she doing? Trying to rationalize some shit that came out of a, a man's mouth. And that's why you look stupid. I want to hear what Charlemagne has to say. I really do. Here we go. I saved it. I'm glad I saved it. I'm not, I don't know if I'm watching Wendy Williams. I don't know if I can do it. I don't think, I, I, and I think it is, <sighs> that's the way they did B, B Smith. Remember her with the husband? What's his name? What was his name? I can't remember. He had a raggedy man and brought that white lady in that woman's house. And she was slapping her hand and doing stuff like that. You done brought some woman you were sleeping with in the house of this woman she was she is she before martha stewart it was her martha stewart is the is the white b uh smith hello okay i just want to make sure i just want to make i want to make sure i want to make sure y'all know that martha stewart is the white b smith just the b very fucking clear okay okay lifestyle all the shit way before all the shit way before Martha Stewart. Okay. They might've been around the same time, but it's B Smith and then it's Martha Stewart. But the way they had her over there looking crazy and that, and her husband, I, I can't remember his name. I can't remember his goddamn name. And that man had that woman in there and had, had an interview and some woman he was dating or sleeping with her, ex, her husband. He brought the woman to be her caregiver. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And then you got Wendy around here, no wig, no nothing. If Wendy was in her right mind, none of that shit would be, she wouldn't even allow it to be, girl, she'd be like, scrap it. We not putting this, y'all have me up here with no wig on. I know you wanna get the real and I, I know y'all want us to be shocked by this is how this woman, this fabulous woman that we have heard her voice for the last 30 years on the radio, on television. And then at the end of it, y'all gonna present her like this? This is how y'all, this is how y'all doing Wendy? Okay. I don't wanna, I don't wanna partake in it. I'm sorry, I don't wanna participate. I don't, I don't. I see, I'll see the clips on the, on the blogs. But other than that, other than that, I don't, I want to hear what Charlemagne has to say. Hold on a second. Let me clean my 
this these glasses off. I want to hear what he has to say first. Oh, let's see. Charlemagne. Here we go. Let's see what he has to say. Back. She, there's a section of the internet that just, just oh yeah I hear a lot of big back babies. she have a big back she do she do give Sheila that was driving up the mountain okay okay yeah, she, she Sheila did. was beautiful though yeah no 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 you talking about the big back not the face she's cool what's your thing with big back no I'm just saying because in a situation like this some of you big backs y'all gotta stop being so thirsty for a man there's a man out there for you okay this woman believed all of this because she wanted to believe all of this big back belief Mm -hmm. Isn't like everybody else's belief. Mm -hmm. Okay, she said it herself. He mm -hmm. said everything I wanted to hear. Yeah. She wanted to believe whatever was coming. She, out oh, of I thought you didn't know who it was. Why are you acting so like you didn't know I, she was a yeah, big he girl? He actually looked like her. But what's interesting? Well, he is had he, a big back too. It, no, no, no. It, oh. I couldn't see his back. Okay. I, we only saw hers because she was sitting in the car for the whole time she was talking. Okay. Um, sun up to Sunday. Look at how Country Wayne did just hilarious just a few a few months ago. What are you guys talking about? People get done running with didn't she fall for the okie doke with Country Wayne? Is she a big bag? Or what are we gonna attribute that to? Her being dark skinned? Is that the reason why she's she dealt with a bunch of ain't shit niggas before she got with this nigga? Ain't no telling how long that's gonna last because once the baby come and he ain't got no attention on him, it's a wrap for the relationship. Hello? Oh, okay i was just wondering i was just wondering i want to read some of the comments big back behavior i said risa tisa ain't no different from christina mackey two desperate pickneys with low self-esteem that will believe the idea of a man instead of, of the reality of who he is it's the preferences the light skins the bbls the big backs the big girls Women are conditioned to see men as more valuable than them, and they invest in stocks that have no ROI. It's women. It's not just the big backs. Let me see what some of the comments say. Somebody says, see, this is why I love you so much. Women aren't taught to value themselves at all and to see themselves as less than if they don't have a man. I love your channel too. Shout out to Brown Sugar 305. He must be from MIA. Take it to the house. We got that fire. Take it to the house. <laughs> um somebody says i was being mighty rough on her actually i wasn't go back and watch my video i really wasn't i really intentionally held space for that girl with some reality i understand how she got into that mess but we also have to say at a certain age there are some questions you need to ask and what she did intentionally in order to avoid criticism she i she not only isolated she was already isolated in the panorama but you did not tell the people in your life about this man who you moved in after a certain amount of time who you did all these things or she's not the only one i'm hard on all you goofies out there making decisions and doing it not making the decisions like the way that i'm gonna get on it's not the people it's the time it's not i'm not i'm not talking about the time i'm talking about the people and i'm talking about the age of the people i'm gonna get on quad in a second because i posted that that link and then it hit the blogs because contessa was right on your ass and you sounded like a damn plum ass fool going up for a scammer but i'm back to this i'm hard on y'all because when you do it when you're young like contessa said your first marriage yeah i can see you making a stupid mistake getting married real quick but you've been married before and you grown and you got a kid you gonna and you don't hear about these stories of these women letting these niggas in their house and these niggas end up killing or harming or sa in their daughters or sons y'all don't hear about that and y'all up here applauding i saw an image of pj sitting on simon's lap nobody had a problem with that i'm like okay it, I, I don't understand what's going on so the somebody who looks like Portia, desperate for a man trekking the tundra with her staff and rod for her entire life T tamar beautiful woman over here desperate for a man doing whatever she needs to do to be in love pisces shout out to the pisces you know we know y'all love love but it's not just the big bags that's what that's my point somebody says you were mighty rough on her she may have been desperate but she was never malicious he was Where's the paragraph for the con artist criminal? Um, you need to go back. You need to go back and watch my video. I was not hard on her. I gave her grace because I know plenty of women who have been in the same exact situations and they backs ain't big. 
Shit. Who is this woman? I hate. Uh, let me let me tell you something. You motherfuckers that be on the fucking Instagram talking your shit. Let me tag you, okay? I want to be able to tag you, so I can respond to you when you respond to me. I have a public page, and you can tag me. But when it's time to tag your asses after y'all then came out your face, then it's like, oh, you can't, you can't come, you can't tag the person. Nah, and for just to scream protect black women over a lie she told and then not protect black women at all after that situation is just proof. This was mighty rude and a terrible comparison to a horrible one. Crazy thing, Rick is out with another woman last night. It's all over Twitter and Christina is gone. All that pick me behavior for nothing. I didn't even know that. I just mentioned Christina Mackey because she's the one that was running down a damn flight of stairs talking about pick me, pick me, pick me over there with Rick Ross. And him looking at her every time she brings him food like he ain't ate in five years. Ooh, is this the mac and cheese? Is this the mac and cheese? You know what the fuck she made you up there looking like you getting ready to get, have a hit of crack. Girl, it's not just the big bats. And that's what I'm saying. It's everybody. Everybody is getting done wrong. This is not an isolated, this is not isolated to bigger women. This is simply desperate women who unfortunately believed everything a man or a liar said. There is not, do y'all understand that living in, I don't know. I don't know. One common thing I keep hearing is these, these niggas lie. They lie, they lie, they lie, they lie, they lie. But when they lie to you with the truth, you interpret it and translate it to mean something else. Well, what he really meant was, <laughs> no girl. He told you exactly what he meant and you ignored it. You wanted to translate and be a goddamn interpreter, a dusty interpreter, a dusty translator. You over here trying to translate dust and then putting yourself at risk for being taken advantage of because you're so desperate for a man. That's the problem. It's not the big girls. It's just the women. It, what did I say the other day? It's the women who need deprogramming. Y'all like these better? I kind of like these better. It doesn't give me the... um. I can't see the light. I feel like I have something in my eye though. What time is it? We only, we got a few minutes. It says, this is simply a desperate woman who unfortunately believed everything that man, the, that liar said. There was a lot of self-inflicted ish in this story. Even when she knew the lie she stayed, even after she got pregnant and had a miscarriage, you had a pop tire, a miscarriage, you had all these hurdles in the way giving you signs and you ignored them. All the while praying to God for a man. When God gives you a sign that this man ain't no good, you ignore God. So what the fuck? Then you end up in hell with a nigga. Going through hell with a motherfucking man. You got on your knees to pray to a male deity. He sends for a man. He sends you a man. The man sends you through hell and you ignore all the signs that tells you to drop this man down to your body rejecting a baby by this man. You still ignore it after you reject it. Well, we're still living in wedlock. I mean, we're living in sin and we're still and we possibly had a child. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and marry him so we don't look like so and so to our families. Meanwhile, your families don't even know you're together. So you're you're going by you're making moves and decisions based on oh my god i'm living with this man and i've been pregnant and we're in we're not in marriage and all this other stuff the baby's going to be out of wedlock our families are from the church your families don't even know y'all are dating like shay she told her mom she was pregnant told her mom don't get used to it the bait her body reject the baby is stillborn not stillborn died and she had to go have an uh the surgery to get the baby out while she she's saying oh i wanted this baby i wanted this baby y'all when i when i tell y'all y'all be putting on a show for y'all your, your community you said you didn't want that baby you said don't get used to this baby then then the baby doesn't have a heartbeat now all of a sudden you want the baby girl shut up i don't care and that's like it's it's like oh i'm supposed to say that i want a baby right i'm supposed to say i'm not supposed to say like thank god i had a miscarriage I'm not supposed to say, thank God for that. I'm not supposed to thank God for that. I'm supposed to say, I really love my baby. 
and screw your face all up after you done told your mom, don't get used to it because you ain't having this baby because this nigga ain't shit. And now you all in the, and then, and then at, when he's, when he's dragging you by your edges, you like, this is why I lost my baby. This is why I lost my baby because you put me all through all this stress. Sounding like a dumbass. And look at Shay. Shay's not an ugly girl. She's not a big back. And look what she's going through. Look at look at Rashida. Look at Rashida. What's her last name? Frost. Look at Rashida. She's going through all that shit. Look how she looks. Rashida's a bad, bad bitch. Look at Carly Red. Look at every single woman. Look at um uh what's his name? Uh what's her name? Yandy. Yandy, she she did a bid with her nigga. He came out of jail, told her he wouldn't go to jail. He don't know if he would go to jail for her. If if, um, or he would wait for her if she went to jail, like she waited for him. She's still over there looking goofy now, arguing with him about what the fuck she gonna do with her goddamn A. It's not just the big backs. I'm here to tell you. I'm here to let you know. It's not just the big backs. It's desperate women who have been trained since they were little girls, right? Y'all over there giving your, your daughters baby dolls, right? And strollers. You're training them. You don't even realize it. You're training them to be caregivers. You are. And then you get mad when the little girls reject the strollers and the baby dolls because you didn't already, you, you already training them to take care of babies. You won't give the boys baby dolls. You won't give the boys baby dolls. You won't give the boys cook sets. But the culinary industry is, is fucking dominated by men. But don't give the boys dish sets because in the home, that's not what they're supposed to do. Girl, y'all have been given a scam and a lie. And you're trying, you're desperate. I was thinking about that last, I was laying in the bed and I was like, I really want to understand. I can understand subconsciously doing things that you're socialized to do and you really are, are operating in a space. Like it's like, you don't really want to do it, but you're participating in it. But it's like, am I supposed to be doing this? Right. And so you're unconsciously or subconscious from a subconscious programming. And then outwardly you reject it. I, I would consider myself that because even though I knew that these niggas ain't smarter than me, I knew that I, I don't have respect for dummies. I just don't. And I see them mostly dumb, right? I've been told my whole life that I develop faster than them and I'm smarter than them. So that's my social programming. Didn't y'all get the same social programming? Oh no, but when you become adults, now all of a sudden you, you become an infant again and you need a, a fucking grown ass man, a fickle grown ass man to take care of you. And you search high and low for the for the rest of your life. Look at Tamar. Tamar is one of those women who is going to spend her entire life looking for someone to spend her life with when all she needs to do is walk by a fucking mirror. But y'all bitches, self-esteem is so goddamn low. You don't even want to spend time alone. You want to create a codependent relationship with a man who is not fit for you, who you are not ready to be in a relationship with, but you want to keep doing it and doing it and doing it. I'm still looking for love. I'm out here looking for love, looking for my unicorn, giving man after man after man after man after man access to you and 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 letting you letting them come into your space. Girl, no. No, it's not just the big girls. I'm here to let you know. It's not can I can keep naming them. You want to name them? You want to keep naming them? You want to keep naming them who just got cheated on the other day? All these little these little rapper girlfriends, they keep getting cheated on. They ain't big. So what does that tell you? Is it about the it's the, it's the desperate women and the men who see the desperate women? And the men who see the death, she's she's desperate to become a wife. Okay. I'm looking for a maid. Let's go. Let's go, girl. You look at these glasses. You looking for you looking for a man to take care of you? And, and honestly, and I kept listening to like different people talking. I kept listening to everybody say, but he was paying her bills. He was paying her bills. He was paying her bills. If y'all are only motivated by a man paying your bills, girl, you, you just lost. That's the only motivation you have in a partner is that he paid you. Well, he was paying her bills. She was, she was able to look past the lies because he was over there paying her bills. And he looked like that. Ain't no way he looked like that. And she thought he was a VP, number one. Number two, ain't no way he looked like that. She thought he was a VP and he was driving a Ford Taurus and he was paying her bills. I do not believe he was paying her bills. I believe she's lying about that. He may have contributed to some groceries. He may have said, here's some little, here's some money on the Instacart bill. 
but I don't believe he was over there paying bills. Cause you mean to tell me you let a man into your home and you just abandoned all your bills and just paid what? Cause didn't you get a call saying that the car was about to get repoed? So you were depending on this man to pay everything. So you maintained your rent where you pay your rent and he was just paying utilities or what the cable bill. What was he paying? The $73 light bill. What was he paying over there? I don't believe he was paying the bills. There's no way you let a man come into your home and then you just abandon all your bills for, for him to take care of it. And now he has access to the bills or he's, is he giving you money to take care of the bills? What's happening here? Because I wasn't clear on that. The idea, they have sold you the idea, the fantasy. You have to agree to the fantasy in order to play the role of a wife, right? Where you tell everybody this is what it is and it's not really that. And you're not designing it the way that you want. You are, are telling people they don't have a proper marriage. And you're around here telling, you're a doctor. Look at Dr. Jackie, an astute physician, OBGYN. Look at how her man did her. She's skinny mini, honey, and make sure she stays skinny. So what's the excuse for that? Is that a low self-esteem that you would stay with a man after he and stuck his dick in somebody else? What does that mean? What does that mean for the gaggle of women who are out with their mates right now and their mates have cheated on them? What is that about? Tell me what that's about. Does that have anything to do with them, their backs being big on why they would accept somebody putting their life at risk and accept them back into their home and into their body? Tell me what that's about. Oh, okay. Is that their back? Are their backs big? Oh, okay. It's a lot of women walk, who walked down the aisle over the weekend and knew good and goddamn well they shouldn't have walked down the aisle. Because when you get to the top of the top of the aisle, the nigga doesn't change. I don't know what y'all think when you walk from the, the doors opening to the end of the aisle, what makes you think in that time that this man, after you say I do somehow, some way, this man is going to change his behavior and you didn't legally bound yourself to him, girl. And then three days after you get married, you run down to the courthouse and get your name changed. You got damn right. She was desperate. As soon as she said it took her three days to go down and change her name after all this shit, this man is a liar and has been lying to you. You've caught him in lies. You know he's lying. And then you add religion to it to say, well, you know, I wanted to be married 50, 60 years when I get, ma when I get married. And then you say, well, I wanted to stick by my husband because now you don't understand the convictions of a wife. They got y'all wrapped up in this shit so fucking deep. You don't even realize the shit you're doing doesn't even serve you. But I, I'm the hater. I'm the hater. I'm the hater who needs some dick, right? Is that, is that, is that what it is? And I'm telling you the truth and y'all don't want to hear the truth because I break up the fantasy. And in order to participate in this shit, you have to lie to yourself. You have to live in Deluluville. You have to live in a fantasy, Cinderella. You have to. You have to play a role. And then you go into a church and the man in the pulpit tells you to endure all the shit your husband is putting you through. You don't see the fucking griff, but I'm the hater. I'm the one too hard. I'm here to shake your goddamn shoulders, to unwind your goddamn eyes. That's what I'm here for, to remind you. No, Erica, please don't tell me. I want to reside in the illusion. I want to reside in delusion. I want to play a role. I want to put a mask on. While I'm going through it, losing my edges, cortisol levels out, out of whack, stressed out, developing OCD, developing PTSD, just so that you can have a penis in proximity to you, girl. It is not worth it. It's not worth the risk. When you look, and that's how I know y'all not paying attention to it because a smart person in their right mind wouldn't marry somebody. When you look at the intimate partner violence rate, when you look at how these men are interacting with women, all these good men online cussing y'all out in the comments, telling you you're going to be bitter, sad, and alone. These are the good men. These men that be cussing you out in the comments, they believe they are good men, y'all. And they don't know no ain't shit niggas. Ask, did y'all did ask the niggas? First ask the niggas, do they love you, what they love about you? First ask them that. Okay? It's not just the big girls. And that's what I'm here to tell you. 
let me put my glasses on and read the rest of this comment. There's a lot of self-inflicted ish in this story. Even if she knew the lies, she stayed. When she found receipts of infidelity, she stayed. And then she had the nerve to be mad. Bitch, I'm more mad that you, you're not getting this house you say you're getting than mad that you're talking to some bitch sexy. You're the mule. You're the maid. You're the mattress. He's going to go over there and get him a Mary Magdalene. Right? But you're the wife. So you, this is, this is your role. You do all the things, suffer, but I'm going to cheat on you. And you still stay. He didn't lie. He didn't cheat it. Put your life at risk. Now he got all this shit on his face. I don't know what the fuck kind of reaction this nigga is having. He got sick all of a sudden. You don't know if it's HIV. You don't know if he's had some, you don't know what the fuck is going on. And he's in Atlanta fucking strip, pr fucking prostitutes. And do you know if the prostitute is a male or a female? Hello? Girl, you in Atlanta, boo. If anything, you better be. I hope she's prepped up. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be hard on y'all because sometimes somebody told me in the comments, Oh, Erica, the way you deliver, yeah, you got other people who do, who's gonna deliver it with honey. I'm the one that's gonna shake your shoulders. I'm not gonna be some sometimes I give you grace, but I'm not, I'm, I'm here to be like, Listen, I'm banging a pot, like, no, I need your attention. And I'm not trying to get you to do anything. You can just listen and make your own goddamn decision. If you want to continue to lie to yourself, lie to yourself. If you want to see the real, then you're going to see the real. And you're going to listen to not only me, but other women down here. They may have a softer message. <laughs> but I don't, I feel like, I feel like that I have a sense of, my, my, my messaging has a sense of urgency to get you out of this thing sooner than later there's so many women they were on yanni's page in her comments talking about how they're celibate i love to hear it i love to hear especially knowing how the closer they are to you the more dangerous they are to you you want to be looking for love and looking for love and ignoring and ignoring the things and this is the reason why Instead of trying to find a man to procreate with, with other women and finding a good sperm donor, y'all want to have relationships and be in partnerships with these people and get you in a domicile so that you become, become a maid, a mule, and a mattress. Everything that they were teaching you when you were a little girl, when they gave you the little stroller and the baby with the bottle, the bottle, remember you turned the bottle upside down and the milk would disappear. Uh huh. And the milk, I don't know where the milk would go, but it would disappear. And you think you would, you were feeding a baby. Everything they've taught you since you were seven years old, Elsa, you were going to be doing as a wife. They've been training you from the beginning and they've been training your boys to be, to dis, to dismiss you, to speak over you, to ignore you. They haven't trained the boy in any kind of way to be a nurturer. They've trained him to be absent, to be emotions. Don't cry. They've trained, this is, these are the children that you're, uh, that that you've become adults and here you hear all of these adults now trained to be mothers trained i'm the nurturer i heal with my booty hole look at cam look at jazzy over there look at her over there look at um cam newton's ex-girlfriend he never didn't he he never married her right went and took the car back wanted to take the car back she ain't she don't got a big back over there she don't have a big back she doesn't so they tell you, you need to be in a relationship. Why? Because you don't you want a family? Don't you want children? Don't you, don't you, don't you, don't you, don't you? So instead of going out and finding a man to give you the quality sperm, you go and find a relationship. And you don't know this nigga from nothing, nothing. And you just hope he ain't going to do you wrong. Girl, hope, just hope. Just, and you ignore the Yelp reviews. You don't listen because you've also been trained to dismiss other women when they tell you the truth about these niggas. You, if y'all don't see the grip, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. And if you think I'm hard on you, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. There's other women that will get, that will rub you with kitten paws, honey. But I have a, it's a sense of urgency for me. Don't you want to live? Don't you want to be left over like Kevin Samuels used to tell the girls when they get 35, you left over? Don't you want to be left over and alive? Okay. Hello, don't you want your edges? Don't you want to be around other women? Don't you want to cultivate the relationships with women while you abandon the relationships with women while you are in search for a relationship with a man? 
and that's your whole mission i ain't friends with women i don't i don't keep women friends why because you got a man and you can't trust those women you've been you've been trained not to trust women around your man because everybody wants a man honey and you for some reason think you got a good one and so every all the bitches want him and so you don't trust women even though one will come and tell you girl i've been with him before he'll send you through hell now you just jealous you just want my life what do they tell you it's all it's all a programming you've been trained not to trust other women what they say about me you've been trained to give him a, the benefit of the doubt even though there's yelp reviews and women coming out of the establishment disheveled and in disarray you still walk your ass in there and sit down and expect to have a different dining experience and what do you do after he sends you through hell and gives you a one star service you come out looking for who communities of other women who have been done wrong who have sat in the same goddamn restaurant who ignored the same goddamn yelp reviews you've been trained to do that girl don't you understand that you all of this is a programming i'm here to break that shit up like i said unwind your goddamn eyes and shake your goddamn shoulders and if you don't like the way i'm saying and you can go you can you have everything in you part of my message is to empower yourself girl you are a your soul traveler on this journey you don't need nobody to take care of your adult ass you are a grown woman and if you don't like the message you don't like the delivery you don't like the tone you don't like the delivery empower yourself and change the channel girl you are sovereign did you know that you got to get out of these codependent relationships with anybody you in a relationship with if you don't like what's coming out of my mouth click change the channel you know how easy it is to refresh the screen and change the channel backspace in your browser and go back to what you were watching do you know that you have the power in yourself to do that empower yourself girl stop seeking power outside of yourself it's always been in you always and if you and if you didn't spend so much time looking for love from external love you would realize it you have the power in yourself y'all give your power away did you hear Sutton tell her daughter after she bought her a forty six thousand dollar pair of earrings told her don't you ever financially depend on no man don't you ever give your power away but you y'all don't even believe that you're higher than a man some book has told you in a hierarchy if there were a hierarchy in humanity that this man is is higher than you i watched this documentary of this woman she was a lawyer a defense attorney a defense attorney she was married to this man who had been in previous relationships and had a abusive relationships previously she's in a relationship with this man trigger warning trigger warning she's in a relationship with this man they get on some kind of reality show she says the man is the man is an accessory to her she ain't lie she said the man is accessory she's with a man who is looks like he might be deep in that what is it called death pill what is it called they call it red pill death pill programming they give you the death pill programming he's involved in all that shit you could tell he ends up killing her and then he calls and says what do what do they what do you need to tell her family you know what he said you know what he said tell them i'm a man that's what he said so basically no matter what you do how, how however much you have accomplished she was a defense attorney and and he ended up killing her and said she fell on the knife however she was stabbed multiple times in the same area she didn't fall on no knife he murdered her and all he wanted to say in his defense was he's a man basically you ain't gonna emasculate me i can kill you bitch and that's what i have over you y'all believe that and the closer they are to you go look at women and how they end up dying and what it looks like and when you look at a homicide they know the person they typically know the person women are not getting accosted by strangers like that 
They are, but not like that. Not compared to the intimate partner violence rates. He wanted the people to know he was a man. She emasculated me. And the way that I let you motherfuckers know I'm a man is I killed her. She ain't can never be. I don't give a damn what she has. I can kill her. That tells you I'm the motherfucking man around here. And these are the people they tell you to get in relationships with. Men who don't even like women are around here looking for women to be in relationship with. Why? Because they hope that you agree to whatever they told you on Sunday morning. And you become a wife. And then you endure all the shit that this man is putting you through. They tell you to. That's how you are a good wife. How long can you take this pain? How long can you endure this pain? Or this man is crushing you. How long can you do? Can you do it, girl? Put respect on our marriage. We've been married 26 years and he's been cheating on you for 16. You, we, we ain't looking at the time like fucking quad up there going up for a scammer and his scamming ass wife. Portia, Portia is a scammer too. Because when you lay down with them niggas, you equal to them. Hello? You was fucking a scammer and you knew you was fucking a scammer running around the globe on that scam money, on that stunt money. Huh? On that show money. And then Contessa, that's cute. You like that? I remember when that aired. You like that? Oh, I'm not talking about the people. I'm talking to, I'm not talking about the time. I'm talking about the people. And I'm talking about their age. That's time. Right? And in time, if you've been married, Simon, this is Simon's fourth marriage. He knew what the fuck he was doing. I got me a old round the way girl in Atlanta still trying to figure it out. 40 year old clown trying to figure it out. Let me scoop her up. She wants that lifestyle. And maybe because of her notoriety and her fate, her visibility as a celebrity, maybe that'll help me get citizenship. Let me drop this other girl, this other desperate ass fool, Fallon, the one who fucks everybody, has a baby by everybody. She fucked. She, you, uh, let me drop her. Let me get this old desperado. Portia look good. She got a big ass, a mouthful of teeth, hair be laid, outfits be laid. Look at her desperate ass. Her back ain't big. Look at her ass. It's not, it's, not, I'm not talking about the time. I'm talking about the people and the age of the people. He's a good man. Is he? Is he a good man? He's been scamming since everybody was in pull up. He's been scamming since everybody was on tricycles and pull-ups and shit. Since 81, bitch. That nigga been scamming since 81. <laughs> Portia then grew up her whole life in the sum cut video, morphing into whatever she needed to morph into to be a beard for Cordell. So basically, you was Cordell's beard. <laughs> That's a motherfucking lie. Yeah, girl, no. We know it's the truth. You was a beard. And you'll morph into anything to get access to the money. Diana done taught you right. And then you got your friends down there looking like fools because you have some friends who will help you with the illusion. Just like in the comments, oh my God, I hate that they got a divorce. They still love each other. They ain't never loved each other. He's like, girl, let me, let's, let's get married. I got access to a little bit of money. I can take you wherever the fuck you want to go. Hopefully us being married will give the, the court system some kind of say, oh, oh, he's dating or he's married to Portia Williams of the Real Housewives. No, it, it, you ain't ringing bells that far into the damn system, Portia. You ain't ringing bells that far into the system. Shit. Heifer. I'm talking about the people. I'm talking about the age of the people. And I'm talking about the people. Girl, you don't know them people. All you know is that Simon and his cousins have y'all are hosting y'all every time y'all go to Ghana. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's that that's that that's that whole little crew be down there. That's why she was going up. You better not say nothing about Simon and his family because you won't get those trips to Africa like you've been doing. Quad. Girl. <laughs> Girl. That's all I gotta say. And that's all I have for today. So why did your wife deal with your BS, Charlemagne? Th right. Charla got them black spots removed from his face and now he thinks he's a beauty brand. Not cute. So how do people with hyperpigmentation act? Because I'm sure you had questionable behavior before you found your dermatologist. Wasn't her name Jessica? Oh, okay. 
ignorant as fuck. So skinny people aren't delusional and desperate and get played. Just big people sigh. Why would he just stop? Does this man just hate black women? From a supposed mental health advocate, this conversation is straight garbage. Corny as fuck. Charlemagne cheated on his wife. Envy cheated on his wife. Right. What the fuck is um Gia over there doing? Not being satisfied, scooting on a dick, trying to trying to come. And you you done been fucking around on her. And, and when I tell you the nerve of a motherfucker, you a motherfucker ain't pleasing your fucking wife and you cheating on her. Gia's a bad bitch. What's her fucking problem? Why is she still standing over there? Right? Why she get mad at Deces and Mary when they said she over there for a check? Because ain't no way a nigga who ain't satisfying me and cheating on me and you stand for what? The kid? Gia's back ain't big. What the fuck she over there for? Hello? Oh, okay. Girl, I'm just wondering. Gia been over there for a minute. Women are willing to deal with anything a man puts her through will undoubtedly always ride or die. That's in the programming. Ride or die. You riding with this nigga until he kills you, right? Right? Isn't that what ride or die means? You riding or you're dying for this guy? Isn't that what it means? They teach you that. In every area, they're teaching you to remain with somebody who you, who, and then your strength, you a strong black woman. You know where that strength comes from? That strength comes from your ability to endure pain that your community continues to put on your back. That's why you're a strong black woman. We have abandoned that, ide that ideology, that trope, strong black woman, because all that does is put you in position to be harmed and abused more because you could take it. You strong. You could take it. If y'all don't see the grift, I don't understand what it is. And it's not just the big girls. All of the women and men are, de it's de by design for you to have a low self-esteem. You have a low self-esteem. You've given access to every man. You haven't been trained to go find one man and have a baby with, right? You've been trained to be in a relationship with this person, get married to this person. You don't even know. And then, and then when you start having fertility issues, you blame yourself, not even thinking like what other, what other what has been what has been introduced to the body that now 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 your body is just rejecting everything what has been introduced to the body now you blaming yourself you don't even go and get his fucking balls checked you blame yourself what's wrong with my body i'm a woman i'm supposed to be able to have babies oh my god and then you leave his ass and you get with the next nigga and boom you pregnant girl you go to the person they have, they have, it's a whole, uh, the whole thing, the whole thing to get you in a relationship. So that, so every man can have a wife instead of one man having a bunch of children because he has good DNA. So instead of going to one person, you've been trained, no, you want a relationship. You know why you want a relationship? Because if we keep it structured this way to where you guys are only going to one man to get your sperm and you don't really care about being in a relationship. You just want to produce, you know, reproduce, right. And have children or whatever. You don't care about no relationship. You just want some quality sperm. No, you need to be in a relationship. You know why? Because all these niggas are being left without women and they, we can't, they're not being able to duplicate their DNA. So let's train you, right? Let's, let's train you to want a relationship to isolate yourself in a relationship with a man. Once you're in a relationship with a man, all your single friends, you dismiss all of them because now this man, now, now you've also been trained that I can't have my single, my single friends around my man because they've also been trained to want a man. And if you want him, obviously there's something good about him. So he must be a quality, right? Because the men in relationships, the single married men, shout out to y'all married to single men. They out here running crazy. Go to Facebook. <laughs> It could be a whole little documentary about the niggas on Facebook and how they jumping in and out of people's inboxes. Be married, full kids, even got a fucking minivan, girl, and be in your inboxes. Not in, not in just the women's inboxes, but the niggas' inboxes too, okay? Yeah, <laughs> I seen them. I seen your niggas in my homeboys' inboxes, right? Right after he drops y'all daughter off at soccer practice, He's in my homeboy's inbox asking for his dick to get sucked. 
oh no, we don't want to talk about that. Let's not, let, let, let's just keep it on the women because y'all will follow after women, right? Y'all follow after women. <laughs> Anyways, I got to go take care of each other. That's all we all uh, had to say, because that's the first thing I saw. I'm glad I got quads ass together in the, in, in the interim. And you know, we had to drag Portia scamming ass. That ain't nothing but an old scammer. Her and Joe and Joanne, the scammer shit, Joseph and, and Joanne, Joseph and Joanne, the scammer. Please Charlemagne and God, what size back did your wife have? When you were lying and cheating, a man will play you regardless of your back size. Risa Tisa ain't no different from Christina Mackey. That's what I said. Two desperate pick me's with low self-esteem. Somebody said that was rude and a horrible comparison. No, it's a it's the same comparison. Christina Mackey is light skinned. She's a um, mo fitness model. She got the whole preference. You would consider her a preference. Look at how Rick Ross is doing her. What well, before her was Pretty V. Pretty V is a pretty girl. Look how she was being done. Her back is skinny, honey. Christina Mackey's back is fit. So you got a skinny back and a fit back. But you're saying it's the big backs. Girl, no, it's everybody. And it's by design. It's by design. All right, y'all. I got to go. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. See the board. Peace. Peace.